Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Replay Bastion. After having learned something pretty dire about the origins of the Calamity, in Zia's dad's journal, Zulf left the Bastion in ruin and he stormed off. Where he went, we don't know, uh, but this is where we're picking up from. We're in the middle of gathering shards to undo the damage that Zulf did. And we're gonna be going- actually, no, let's go with the pike vault. I actually totally forgot about this school- this skill, and it's a pretty cool one. to use the shards to stake out the wild. So much for that plan. It's got a lot of utility, and I know that speedrunners have learned to use it pretty creatively to sequence break. Ankle gators used to roam the wilds, and they nested at Rothus Lagoon. Many a tale folks used to scare their children straight originated here. So this is Rothus Lagoon. It's the home of a new creature, the Ankle Gator. All kinds of beasts were don't know up from down, still looking about. Oh, I hate these goddamn birds. The small ones. The big ones are fine. These ones piss me off. Only the city's brushes knew their way around the lagoon. Uh, the brushers are the dudes who would walk around the lagoon with the pikes, uh, the weapon that we're currently using. Even the brushers learn to fear this place. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's called the brushers' pike. Forgetting the lore. They used to think that ankle gators were extinct. Well, they ain't. One of them's been living in the tall grass. Turns out Queen Anne got a hold of a shard. Ankle Gators love shiny things. The Lagoon's got plenty of other dangers, of course. Oh yeah, here we go, Queen Anne. Queen of the Ankle Gators. Uh, she's gonna be harassing us throughout this level. Uh, so before we move on, I'm actually gonna take this a little bit more slowly than I have been with the other levels because this is about that point in the game where it's going to start picking up and getting pretty hectic and overwhelming. You know what smells worse than an ankle gator's breath? A stink weed. The brushers use their pikes to keep their distance around here. Now the kid can do the same. They say you can't hurt an ankle gator unless it's raining. And it ain't raining. Queen Anne can't be harmed yet, so she's gonna be like the spine of the world did uh, before we fought that in Transistor. It's gonna be kind of prodding out of the ground, trying to impale us while we fight other enemies. That might be one of the hardest effects to deal with from the Ten Idols, is the one that lets enemies phase out of existence. Those pin cushions have been living off the ankle gator scraps. Queenie leads the kid into some kind of twisted trap. <clears throat> One bad step in that tall grass and it's Queen Anne's lunch. Queen while Anne we're actually down some of these narrow paths. While we're actually talking about Transistor in its relation to Bastion, uh, you know how in Transistor you saw the little Dark Souls-esque uh, phantoms of other players in their own worlds playing their own game? The and that was kind of the extent of the multiplayer as it exists in Transistor? Bastion was actually originally planned with just straight up co-op. Uh, that had to be cut, not because of time or budget like most features that normally get cut from games that you hear about, but because having so many people running around at a time, like independently, would screw up narration. Uh, and, we're, and again, while we're talking about both Transistor and Bastion in the same breath, Bastion's out of nowhere kind of meteoric success and all the crazy word of mouth uh, is what led it's what let Transistor happen in the first place, and it's what let Supergiant take the time to do stuff like pre-production planning for Transistor. Uh, they didn't have that luxury for Bastion because they were a new studio with an unproven track record. Ooh, yeah, those flowers that emit the hallucinogenic gas are the worst. Stinkweeds, I think they said they were. Uh, that Rux said they were. Oh my god, there's a little bit of a, like, a metal riff going on in this music. It's dope. That's why there ain't many around. And we got the Ankle Gator egg. That'll do something cool later. And one last little difference between the two games. In the beginning, you might remember the Warner Bros. logo popped up. WB actually published, uh, was the publisher for Bastion. And that was mainly a prerequisite at the time to get the game past some of the stricter certification procedures for X, uh, XBLA years ago. 
but you since those procedures run. loosened up a little bit, they weren't forced to have a publisher from Transistor. So instead, they opted to self-publish, which, again, they could do in large part because of the super positive word of mouth from Bastion. Uh, and they didn't need that extra marketing push either. Like, they brought it to PAX East in 2013, I think, for the first time. The line was capped all weekend long, like three hours. And, and yeah, it was just capped the whole time uh, the expo floor was open all weekend. People were, like, foaming at the mouths trying to get their hands on it back then. And for damn good reason. Supergiant is two for two with just straight-up sublime games. Rest in peace, Queen Anne. That was for the brushes. I feel kind of bad. It's done what needed to be done. Because they aren't really antagonists. They're just predatory animals. They're just beasts Queen in the way. Queen is over. We even got a crown jewel. And so with Queen Anne dead, we actually get the shard that she uh, had taken for herself. Oh, I had trouble for a single shard. But you know what? It was worth it. Was it worth it, though? Because I don't really need to upgrade any of these buildings. Just the occasion to crack open the distillery's private reserve. That gator's a crazy gal. But so is the gal who promised to look after her. Yeah, we get a little ankle gator pet. We can tell it to stay or we can get it to follow us around. Let's name him Steve. They said Queen Anne was just a folktale. Now there's living proof she ain't. Yeah, so now we have Philip the Squirt and Steve the Ankle Gator. The next show should be farther out there in the wild. Point Lemaine. The era lived underground for centuries in vast subterranean networks. Ah, they went by too quick. Know how Ceylandia became the richest city in the world. Two words. Point Lemaine. If the wilds could ever be tamed, it was gonna happen right here. It'd be cool if we could venture a little bit further out the into cities other than Ceylandia. Uh, and I think we have to pick up the army carbine in order to progress. So we have to switch weapons for a little bit. Kid might as well pick up where they left off. Blam. Just like my fighting days. Gun like that can even put the wilds in check. That's fine. I really like the army carbine. Uh, my only gripe with it, uh, with replacing the brusher's pike with it rather, is that I think my with my current upgrades, the carbine doesn't have armor penetration. But it ain't done. I'm not sure if it can have it either. Uh, I'm not sure if there's a... Uh, not an armory. Uh, the building where you upgrade... The No, wait, it's the armory and the arsenal. I always get them mixed up. Uh, either way, I'm not sure if I can swap my upgrades around in here. Not only is it still there, it still works. Uh, so, I'm gonna try something here, because these things mess me up. Yeah! That worked out pretty well. Uh, I still have a few of them Just coming after me, stay clear of the but on the tracks. I accidentally picked up the uh, the decoy secret skill uh, in the last level and without realizing it. I went to use Pike Vault a few times and just couldn't because I had picked that up. Uh, but it's paying off here because this is kind of just a straight track auto scroller, and those the, uh, rails, uh, the stink the eyes that's what they're called they destroy me. Out. But I can distract him with the decoy. Yeah, it's worth its weight in gold here. Uh, everything else, aside from the stink eyes, I can just kind of shoot off screen. The awesome ass carbide. Those things slip by. I think that's a dynamic piece of narration. I uh, I don't think he says that if you miss any of the enemies, if you fail to kill anything in your path. Oh, hey. The closer you are to those enemies, the more of their thorns will ricochet uh, into them. Yeah. Ah. This is why I, I like armor penetration for stuff like the Lunkheads. Uh, some of the, the flower enemies go into this state where their uh, petals are protecting them like armor. The, like these ones, I think they'll eventually... Good, good, good. Yeah, like that. 
So I could still, like, my flamethrower still has armor penetration, but my rifle does not. Uh, whereas the pike that it replaced had it. Made sure to keep that upgrade around. Armor penetration is insanely useful. Oh! Maybe I could get the Lunkhead to jump off. Uh, there is a part of the Lunkheads that are unarmored, by the way. If you just shoot them from behind, or if you poke them or do whatever. But now it's split open like a rotten pineapple. Ooh. Yeah, you can kill them that way. Or you could just have them armor penetration. Now, do I want to replace decoy? Because I can use uh, the, the blitz, which I think makes me aim, like, within a fraction of a second. Uh, with the, uh, the carbine, instead of having to wait for the sights to line up like that. Uh, it might come in handy for the end of this level. Not sure yet. Either way, we're going to stick with that. It was right here that Zolf's Ura forefathers decided to mix it up. So these are the la these lands were traversed okay, by the Ura. So maybe we didn't get their sign off on the whole Grand Rail thing. That was bad. The rail must have shook the Ura to the bone down in those dens of theirs. More and more, it sounded like the Ura were victims of kind of like this manifest destiny mentality from the Salandians. It's still got one good. There's a lot of parallels to the to uh the settlers and the Native Americans in this game. Uh, and that should give you like between everything that's going on so far, it should be, give you a pretty I a good idea of what the calamity was meant to do in relation to the Ura. Oh, god damn it, the gas. Let me tell you, it ain't fun. Yeah, we're gonna have a lot of that to deal with. That's all the purple flowers that are letting that stuff out. So let me try to hang out at the top of the screen a little. Uh, yeesh. This is where it's gonna get rough, the second auto scroller. Oh, this is why I hate the little birds, they're relentless. Fuck off. Thank you. Uh, and what is the, oh this is one of the uh, the big plants emitting all the gas I should be able to just roll well, around this if I could get a good grip on my sight you'll be picking swamp weed out of those boots for days I appreciate that even though the sound kind of dampens the narration does not uh, when you're affected by the hallucinogen oh god caught in a really tight spot here. Sucks. Just another wallflower in there we go. This is why I like the pike and its crazy high damage and armor pen. At first he thinks it's Zolf. No, it's not Zolf. It's another Ura survivor. This is for you, says the man. Then wham. <laughs> when the kid comes to, the man's long gone. But something else is there. The only words the kid recognizes on that parchment are for Zia. Well, what's a kid to do? He took the shard, he took the hit, and he took that note. So Zolf sent one of his uh, his fellow Ura survivors to, cut straight to leave a message things, with the kid to give it to Zia. It ain't too late to unlock the potential of this place. Uh, before we give it to her, do our normal thing. Upgrade one of the buildings around the bastion. We need an awful big lost and found. And then uh, let's talk to Zia about this note. And the ceramic stockpot we apparently got. Finding gourmet ingredients ain't easy these days. But we'll take what we can get. The note says it plain. Zia, go east to learn the truth about the calamity and our people. I'll be waiting. Sincerely, Zolf. Zolf's messenger was one of his people. Wonder just how many of them survived. 
And what exactly is Ulf told him? The shards are getting harder to find. Along with Zia and Zolf, there are a lot more Ura survivors than we first thought. And uh, Zolf wants Zia to come east to learn the truth about One thing what the calamity was. The cauldron. The smell like rotten eggs. Colford Cauldron, I kind of remember being pretty tough. Over some 300 years ago. They say it filled the skies with ash and the lakes with rock. So Colford Cauldron is um a giant if you dormant to volcano. Like that, you had to learn to adapt. Or is it dormant? I'm not sure actually. Those yellow Pod plants uh, will explode, and the radius of the explosion is actually pretty big. Uh, they will shoot little globs of hallucinogens at you. The kid is not particularly in the mood to imbibe or partake in that so psychoactive in experience the today. They're all survivors too. Best to keep oh. out of the cauldron. Damn it! It More of that awesome dynamic narration, though. To keep on living in a place like this. As for us, we learned an awful lot from Colford Cauldron. That learning led to some interesting inventions. The raw power of the world fell right into our hands. Shit. Tiny birds again. And then they're always on your ass, so when you kill them with the Playing idle active, they drop a bomb right at your feet. Addiction. Which makes them even more dangerous. I always forget those bombs are there. It's been screwing with me the whole playthrough. I always, always forget that the enemies are going to drop one. No, I want to save that big shot for this guy. And then, can dot you up. Sure Counter, good. Off a good many secrets out here. Come on, I want to burn all of you. But we discovered other things were better off. Ugh. Yeah, they start throwing some really crazy enemy combinations at you at this point. And they narrow your, your arenas in a lot of cases. You only have a lot of room to maneuver. Of dirt. Can I get between them without getting... Yeah, good. I will just shoot the birds, the, the tiny so ones out of the sky like clay pigeons. Bones. No problem with that at all. All sorts of. God, this stink eye. Yeah, that enemy type is probably my biggest demon in this. Oop. Drinky poo. We kept on sifting through the cauldron secrets anyway. The more ash we swept aside, the more life we found. Okay, uh, can I get... Maybe, yeah, I think I'm going to want decoy again for what's coming up. Because there's a little tough backtracking section at the end of this level. Uh, which decoy is probably going to be really, Places really useful for. They come. Yeah, inhospitable. That is... Ooh, that's a pretty accurate phrase for what I'm dealing with here. Oh, get... They, they never stop pecking. Never, ever, ever. ABP always be pecking. But still, we pressed on. Birds really, really want those set of steak knives. No, that wasn't first prize. That was uh the, the brand new Cadillac. Birds really want brand new Cadillac. Ooh. Look down through all the smoke and flame. The game really starts getting intense around here. Uh, and I guess you don't notice it on the, the first playthrough, but with all the idols active, holy shit, it actually God is a, yeah. quite a challenge. The 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 Especially if you've man. never done this before. Holy shit. Uh, yeah. And here is where the backtracking begins, we across the field of stink eyes. So we'll pop that decoy. As for the kid, he just has to get that Ooh. shard out of there. 
Too bad taking that. Yeah, I don't mind waking up all the snake eyes. Because I'm already through half of them. Uh, yeah, that's not good. I could live without these. There's always more. School day. The cauldron's tenants all gather up to bid the kid a fond farewell. Oh my god, what is happening? I swear I didn't roll off the ledge a second time. Well, I'm With making excuses. Glass, you can still see the cauldron from the city, but all Holy the shit, that down. level. There's nothing left of it. That was a little too close for comfort. Gotta get good. It comes back looking like the inside of a chimney. The shard works like a charm. You can hear the monument's heartbeat again. Let's see, we have uh, three, sh uh, sorry, two shards that we're gonna have to get. The memorial may be finished, but our part is far from over. We will gather the next two shards next time. For now, thanks for watching, everyone. Take it easy. Have a good one.